The U.S. Treasury Department released new figures on 2023 budget on Friday. These figures showed a disturbing decline in countries' tax revenues compared to GDP and increase in annual deficit doubled compared to same period last year. According Washington Post, after record U.S. government spending in 2020 and 2021 due programs related economic effects of COVID-19 crisis, deficit fell from $3 trillion $1 trillion in 2022. The deficit continues to fall to pre-pandemic levels. This year it unexpectedly jumped to nearly $2 trillion. Although most reports on Treasury figures paint picture of various and overlapping dynamics explain increase in the deficit, including rising debt payments due to interest rates, exemptions from tax returns related extreme weather events, impact of a student loan forgiveness program that was later cancelled, or decline in capital gains income. Progressive tax experts say none of these complexities should act to preserve what is at the heart of a budget that returns less than it spends tax gifts to the rich. Bobby Kogan, Senior Director of Federal Budget Policy at the Center for American Progress, has repeatedly argued that rising deficits in recent years have a clear single main cause Republican tax cuts that mostly benefit wealthy, profitable corporations. In response Treasury figures released Friday, Kogan said roughly 75 increase in deficit and debt ratio, amount of federal debt relative to overall size economy, was due revenue declines from GOP, approved tax cuts in recent years. More than half of the remaining 25 inches are high interest payments on debt related to Federal Reserve policy, he said, pointing to the important tax laws enacted during the George W. Bush and Donald Trump administrations. Kogan said, We are having a revenue problem due to tax cuts. Bush and Trump's tax cuts broke our modern tax structure. Incomes are significantly lower and no longer growing much with the economy. He offered this visualization of the rising debt ratio, the point I want to make and again and is. That spending is down, not up. Compared to the last time CBO forecast stable debt GDP, Kogan said in a tweet Friday night, low income is 100 responsible for the change in debt projections. Leave this point if you're subtracting nothing else. In his tweet, Kogan offered the following chart to show current and projected levels of both federal revenue and spending relative to gross domestic product in a detailed analysis prepared in March. Kogan explained without Bush tax cuts their extensions, revenues would be on track keep pace with spending indefinitely. Ratio would instead be the cuts have added $10 trillion to debt since they took effect. Accounting for 57% increase in ratio since 2001 more than 90% of increase if one time. Costs bills responding COVID-19 Great Recession are excluded. At the debt ratio, on Friday, Sen. Sheldon Whitehouse's office cited the same figures in a press release responding to Treasure.